This is the White Lotus TV on an Amazon Fire device. And today we're going to show you all the free content you do get and all the bonus features when using the White Lotus TV system. Let's start off here by opening up the White Lotus TV app. Right now what you're seeing is the main menu. And if you wanted to watch a movie, let's go ahead and go into the movie section. Okay, uh, all these top menu options here are just shortcuts to the Exodus server. And basically anything with a plus sign is a different server you could go into and explore. And they all have their own way of delivering contents and it has its own content. But usually any server that you jump into has all the latest titles. Okay, let's go back to the top. And let's go into this popular movie section. And as you can see, it brought back a list of all the popular movies that are currently out. Okay. So you could jump uh, page by page uh, by uh, clicking on there. But if you wanted to play a movie from here, you just select a movie. And what's happening now, it's bringing back a series of links, uh, different qualities, 1080p, 720, and SD. And depending on your internet uh, quality, that's what you end up choosing. So, you know, if you have just a decent internet, you should be able to play 1080p without a problem. Okay, you just choose any link that you want and press play. And for some reason, you got a link that was a little slower or anything, you could just press your return key on your remote and just play another link very quickly. And that started just fine without a problem. Now, uh, one thing I did want to show you, you do have volume control using your Amazon remote. So no need to use your TV remote. You could uh, raise and lower the volume as, as you like with your Amazon remote by pressing up or down. You could fast forward the movie up to 32 times the speed. Let's press play. Or just by simply pressing left or right with your pinwheel on your remote, you could jump into any section of the movie. Let's press uh, right to uh, move forward very quickly. And look, I went to uh, midway into the movie without a problem. You see, so I could go right back to the beginning if I like by pressing left on my pinwheel. Okay, let's move on so I could show you other sections. And like I said, anything with the plus sign is a different server that you could go in and explore. And these servers do update themselves. So if there was any problem with a server, just wait for an update to come out and uh, just hop onto another server and get your content from there. Okay, if you keep going into the bottom of the list, uh, there's a website pairing tool. So if you wanted to pair uh, your device with a site such as OpenNode, so you you were able to play links from OpenNode, you could do so through here. And you would just open up uh, this OpenNode uh, website direct here. And then follow instructions and just uh, pair, it, pair it through that site. Okay, it's it's a simple tool. It's there if you'd like to use it. Let's keep moving on. Let's exit here. Okay, let's go into the TV shows. Uh, all this is free content, uh, same deal. Any of these options uh, here on the top are just uh, shortcuts to either the Exodus server or the Elysium server. Okay, and anything with a plus sign down here is a server. And like I said, you could jump into any of these servers and explore them. It's gonna put you in the TV show section. So you could jump into any of these sections and uh, uh, play anything from there or you could always add a section into your favorites if you like or if you want in there you could add anything into your favorites 
same way just by pressing the menu button on your remote and adding it to your favorites. Another thing that I did want to show you is when you're in the movie section, uh, sometimes you'll get a, a movie here and there that you don't know what that movie's about and maybe you want to watch a trailer before you commit to the movie. You could always press uh, the menu button on your remote on any of the movies and play a trailer. And that does it for all the movies. That way you get a quick glimpse of the movie before you actually commit to it. <laughs> it's a nice little feature. I use it often. Okay, uh, the sports section, most of it is tied up to the live TV plan. So you do have to sign up for the live TV uh, to get these uh, parts active. But there are some uh, free parts here, the sports replay and the online streams are free. Uh, online streams is not always your best streams, but if you did want to uh, play something from there, you can. And as long as something was up, you'll be able to play it. But as far as quality and reliability goes, uh, it's nothing that I could say that's that great, you know. So uh, that's why we do offer the live TV plan and it's the best way to catch the sports. Okay, Kids Zone. Let's go to the top of the list. We're at the top of the list right now. And the first four are just tied to the live TV plan. Anything below that, it's all free content that you could go into and explore on your own. And you'll find a lot of great uh, kids content in there. And uh, also some educational channels to, uh, that you could explore. Okay, now on the favorites, if you uh, hit your select button on the favorites, you're going to open up the favorites. And it's a quick way to access the favorites and you can play anything from here. Okay, but if you uh, press left on your remote, you're going to go into this other section here. Okay, and these are other menu options that you do have. And uh, this is more free content that you could explore. Okay, let's go ahead and open up Terrarium. Now within Terrarium, you could access uh, TV shows and movies. And it all depends how you want your content delivered. And you have so many options that, you know, so many ways of getting your content that if something happened, uh, get in one way, just hop over to another section and, and get it from there. Okay, so if I wanted to catch a TV show from here, I would select the TV show I wanted to watch. And it's going to show me all the seasons. Then I would select the season that, I'll, that I'm watching. And select whatever episode I wanted to see. Once I do select that episode, I, pr I press play on my remote and it's going to bring back uh, the links. Now, when you're within Terrarium, you do get a quick ad, uh, usually after uh, watching something. But it's not a big deal. All you have to do is press the return uh, button on your remote and you're out of the ad. But if you wanted to help out the development of Terrarium, I recommend clicking on an ad here and there and, you know, it just helps out the developers to make the app even better. Okay, but let's say I wanted to play uh, play this uh, episode here. I just select it and I'll start playing. Hmm. And once again, you do wedding. have volume I control. You all a save the date email. Oh, exciting! You guys picked a date. And you can't fast forward. It works very nicely. Terrarium is a very uh, nice app to use. I use it all the time. It's one, one of my go-to apps. Hey, let's just, we have two single okay, friends. let's go ahead and get out of here. Okay, and within Terrarium, you could uh, press here the... the menu button on the top left and you could hop over to the movies if you like and you could always actually also uh, hop over to a different uh, category here and see a movie from a specific section or a TV show from a specific section okay let's move on uh, mega box uh, from Megabox, you could also watch uh, movies and TV shows. And uh, 
to get to the TV show section, you just press the top here and hop over to the uh, TV shows uh, down here. But here, let me just play something from the movie sections to, to show you how you play something uh, with the mega box. Okay, you go move over to the videos and uh, you select what you're gonna play. Once you're here, don't don't do the play that's on on the left. Uh, actually, do the custom. And the reason you're gonna do the custom is because you're gonna select the MX Player Pro, which we have put into the system, and that gives you the volume control and the fast forward and rewind. So it's just a lot better. It's it's usability is a lot a lot quicker when you want to do something as, such as uh, control the volume or fast forward. You see that there? I just moved over. And the Everybody knows. Okay, let's keep going here. Let's exit. Uh, Free Flix, same thing. Uh, TV shows and movies. And uh, it's going to have all the latest titles. And something different about Free Flix is that it's composed of, of a series of servers. And uh, to change servers within here, you just uh, click that uh, filter that's on the top right. You open that up and let me show you all the servers that it does have. So if you wanted to catch a TV show, you would select a TV show server here, six, six through 10. Or if you wanted to catch a movie, you could select a, a movie server here. And uh, you would just select one and then go down on to the bottom and press apply. And it'll hop over to that server. So if a movie for some reason didn't play on uh, server number three, you would just hop over to server number two and catch it from there. Uh, the whole system is pretty reliable. Check it out and see what you like of it. Uh, by default, it also has an MX Player Pro, so you do have the volume control and fast forward and rewind. So it's also an, a nice uh, way to catch your content. Mob Drill here offers uh, free online channels. It's not always the best quali quality, uh, but it's pretty decent as far as free content goes. And if I wanted to catch something from here, I would just select it and uh, press my select button and it starts playing. Okay, the volume's off on this one. Let's select something. Like I said, it's free online content uh, and its quality is not always uh, as reliable. And that's for your own team. why we offer the live to, TV to uh, subscription I, I through, you're, through you're, our system. On the, on the there you go. Once it builds up a little bit of a catch, my contract is. it's going to start playing this year, You'll make a lot of money. I'll eat that two thousand dollars. So a guy who is very physical in the league, you got in a lot of fights. You got into you know the rough stuff in the NHL. When you look at I will always be with you, my and once in a while you do get an ad here when you're using a mob drill. I will be with you. Right now, by uh, clicking play on my remote, I activated the mouse feature that, that we put into the system. And to get that up, you just press play twice uh, pretty quickly. And you see it there. I'm able to move it with my Amazon remote. Okay. Uh, if you do ever need to activate that, like I said, just press the play button twice, like uh, once, one, two. And it should uh, activate it. And to deactivate it, you press the, press the play button twice a little slower. One, two, and it deactivates it. Okay, let's get out of there. To get it back up, uh, let me show you again. Press play, one, two, and there goes my uh, mouse remote. Deactivate it, one, two. Oh, wait, there you go, it's off. Okay, let's go back here. Uh, Netflix right here. Um, this is just regular Netflix. You do have to have a subscription uh, with Netflix to use it. And it's just a faster way to get to your account and uh, you could do it from here, okay? So it's not free Netflix or anything like that. Uh, let's keep going. This is Spotify. Now you do have to get a subscription with Spotify, but they do offer free uh, subscriptions. And this is a nice way to uh, play music through here, uh, through, your, through your TV box. So if I wanted to play something here, I would just hop over or you could build your own playlist and you, you could actually access your Spotify account through a regular web browser and start building your own playlist. Okay, but let's say if I wanted to play anything from here, um, I would choose whatever I wanted to play. <laughs> 
and it'll start playing. And if I left uh, that section, you say you love me, I morning. say you crazy. We're nothing more than friends. You're not my lover, more like a brother. I know you since and we were like playing. ten. Yeah, don't mess it up. You just put talking that shit. Only gonna put. Okay. Uh, the YouTube here. This is just a nice way to watch ad ad free uh, YouTube content. So if you actually wanted to watch some YouTube content, you could do it from here, and you could also sign in with your own uh, account. Uh, if you go down here, IP vanishes is a tool to hide your online activity. It's not something that you need to use. Uh, it's just here for whoever does have an account and likes using IP vanish. It's there. Uh, their subscription is about seventy dollars per year. Uh, a yearly plan is the best uh, way to go because uh, their monthly is a little higher. Okay, it's not always a, uh, the best to use with the uh, live TV plans. Uh, for that, we do have another uh, service that we've incorporated into the system, which is called Unblocker, and we'll go over that just in just a sec. Uh, if you access your favorites from here, it's a nice way to access your favorites, and you actually have more control of whatever favorites you uh, put into the system through here, because you could uh, change the color of the of the link here, or you could rename it, or you know just uh, give it give it a certain color. Let's say for certain type of channels or maybe the kids channels you'll put them in green so you'll be able to distinguish them a little bit uh, better okay so it's just a nice way to access your favorites and every time you watch a movie channel from here like from your uh, from the live tv you could always always uh, press back and it dumps you right back here so you could jump into another channel very quickly okay uh the last one here is help videos we're gonna be putting on some uh help videos online to help you uh to give you some hints about the system and help you maneuver through the system. So uh, it's just like uh, tips and tricks of, about the system. We currently don't have any help videos in there, but once we start putting them online, you'll be able to access the help videos through here, okay? And if you do have any questions or maybe you wanted a, a, us to put a help video about something, just let us know and we'll be able to put a help video there to, sh to show you uh, whatever you have uh, questions about. Okay, the weather here, uh, you could change the weather pertaining to your city very quickly. Uh, to do so, so you go in here and uh, just press your select button and uh, change it to a different city. But you do have to add your city uh, through the settings. And you do so by going into the settings here. And it just add your uh, weather location there, okay? There you go. I only have three cities uh, in there, so you just add add yours, and uh, then you'll change it in in that uh, weather location that we were I was just showing you. Um, you could check your internet uh, speed uh, by using that tool there. Let's keep going. Uh, this is just clear the catch of the system. Uh, you could do that once in a while. It's it does it on its own, but it, let's say. Uh, it does it on its own like every now and then, but if you wanted to do it on your own, you could do it from there. So it's just just there if you wanted to use that tool. And this here is Unblocker, what I was uh, telling you about. And uh, I like Unblocker because it's a cheap solution. It's a $28 uh, per year. And once you set it up, it's ready to go, and um, you don't have to do much with it. There's, uh, you don't have to keep connecting like you would do uh, using IP Vanish. And what it does, it drives all your content through Unblocker. That way, it hides your online activity. Now, uh, I know that laws are changing regarding um, streaming and stuff like that. But I mean, pretty much everything's everything's still uh, good. Uh, you could stream content without a problem. Uh, the only thing I've seen happen is that sometimes uh, internet providers do uh, throttle speeds when you're uh, streaming uh, certain content online, such as live TV or, 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 you know, it's happening here and there. It doesn't happen all the time. It happens once in a great while. I'll get someone that says like, hey, uh, my, everything seems to be working very slow when I stream live TV. So if that was happening, then I would actually suggest for, for you to sign up to an unblocker. And uh, that will just hide your online activity. They can't stop you from streaming, but I, I, evidently they could throttle your speeds without a problem. And uh, you won't know it's happening, but you'll just see, 
you know, you'll know because you're getting the your speech throttled and uh, you won't be able to watch anything uh, without without slowing down, without getting the lag. OK, it's pretty evident once once it's happening, though. Uh, live support. If you do have a live TV a subscription with us, uh, we do offer a live support, meaning that we could actually log on to your box and see what you're seeing. And we could actually make modifications uh, in your system. So if you ever had any problems and you needed some life support, you would just let us know and we'd uh, log on to your box and help you out with it. Okay. Uh, people have used it and they love it because we're always there for them. I mean, we know these boxes inside out and we know what to change. And sometimes people mess with the settings, change things out and they need a little bit, a little bit of help to get things back, uh, to get them back the way they were. Okay. Uh, the updater, if we had a major update, uh, we'll uh, let it out through the updater and you would just go in here and activate the, the updater. Uh, updates don't happen that often. Uh, the whole system is pretty, um, it's self-updates, like every section self-updates. But if there was a major change, we'll let you know. Uh, you would know by that, uh, by that uh, the part that's scrolling at the bottom that says White Lotus Current Version 2.0. Uh, it'll probably say, oh, we have uh, a new version out, which is 3.0. So go ahead and run an update. And if you also join our mailing list, we could let you know that way. All right. The inbox here is if we ever had anything to share with you, like let's say a new app or something like that, we would dump it in your inbox and you'd go in there and uh, you could find it in your downloaded files. Okay. Now, another tool that we do have here, let me go to the main uh, menu of the Amazon device, is this app here, and it's called App Starter. And if you go in here, uh, we have this app here because you can actually uh, quickly force close any app. So you just uh, press your menu, you hover over the app, okay? And then you press your menu button on your remote, and then you go into app settings, and then you force stop it. So maybe if you uh, get an app that hangs or you needed to stop it very quickly, you would do it this way. And then you would press home and go back into the app and it'll just restart. So it's just a, a fast way of uh, for stopping an app. And pretty much that's the system and that's all the uh, free content you do get when using the system. And as you can see, you have a lot of ways of streaming. So if you can't get your content from one location, you could always hop into another location and get it from there. Now, if you do have any questions, uh, let us know and we'll try to answer them as best as possible. But as you can see, this is one of the best systems out there, actually one of the most complete systems out there. And we're always trying to make it better and give you an updated version. So we're always there to help you once you buy a system from us. As long as you sign up to the live TV plan, you always stay kind of like within the family and we're always there to help you. Okay, so like I said, if you do have any questions, feel free to ask and we'll try to answer them as best as possible. Thank you for watching and have a good one.